Hello children. Today I am going to read to you a story that conveys a beautiful message that animals do have feelings and emotions like us. They do understand affection and respond accordingly. The story titled The Parrot Who Wouldn't Talk is a humorous story written by Ruskin Bond. In this story, the author's aunt decides to keep a parrot as a pet and wishes to teach it how to talk. Let's find out how successful was she in her effort. The parrot who wouldn't talk. When I was growing up in Masuri, almost all our neighbors kept a pet parrot or parakeet. Sometimes these birds would learn to talk. They would say things like study child study or don't be greedy don't be greedy. These words and phrases were of course learned after some member of the household had repeated them many times in front of the bird. But our parrot refused to talk. He had been bought by Aunt Ruby from a bird catcher who visited all the houses on our road. Grandmother and grandfather did not want a caged bird as a pet, but Aunt Ruby insisted. So she bought the parrot and tried to teach him to talk. But the parrot did not like her at all. Kiss, kiss, Aunt Ruby would say, putting her face close to the bars of the cage. But the parrot would move back, his beady eyes getting smaller with anger. One day, he lunged forward and pushed my aunt's spectacles off her nose. After that, Aunt Ruby did not like it anymore. She started making faces at him and calling out, You are useless. Can't talk. Can't sing. Can't dance. Grandmother then put me in charge of feeding the parrot. He was quite happy to take green chilies, pieces of papaya and ripe tomatoes from my hands. I also gave him slices of mango. This gave me a chance to eat a few mangoes while feeding the parrot. One afternoon, while everyone was in the dining room, I gave the parrot his lunch. By mistake, I left the cage door open. Seconds later, the bird flew away to sit on the mango tree. At the same time, Grandfather came to the veranda and said, I see your aunt's parrot has escaped. I am sorry, I left the door open by mistake, I said. Aunt Ruby was upset. She wanted to buy another parrot. We promised to buy her a bowl of goldfish instead. I thought that we would never see the parrot again. But maybe he missed his green chilies. A few days later, I found the bird sitting on the veranda railing and looking at me. Unselfishly, I gave him half my mango. Just then, Aunt Ruby came outside and cried out, Look, it's my parrot. He must have missed me. Quickly, the parrot flew to the nearest rose bush. He looked angrily at the ant and shrieked, You are useless. You can't talk, can't sing, can't dance. Aunt Ruby turned ruby red and ran inside. The parrot became a regular visitor to our garden. Whenever he saw Aunt Ruby, he would call out, You are useless. Can't talk, can't sing, can't dance. The parrot had learned to talk after all.